Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to episode number six, I believe. In the last video, we ended up getting piety, completed all the quests for that. We ended up getting desert treasure done, so we can now use the ice barrage spell. And we also made a ton of money swapping items to 07. Now in this video, there is just one more thing missing. If you look at my bag, this is not what I wanna be wearing when I'm PKing. So let's start it off by getting a mage arena two cape. It is currently peak time for RuneScape, so I'm just gonna chill and chop some trees. Let's see what woodcutting level I end up on. Oh no, guys, I died. I lost the bow crossbow, shit. <laughs> I can't, I can't take him seriously. Please splash on 20 mage. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Easy tank when I've got nothing left. So while I'm just chopping trees, relaxing, waiting for tomorrow, it is time to fully prepare our alternate account. These are the stats at the moment. I showed it a little bit earlier and I'm currently getting 70 agility. That is going to be used to access the room in God Wars dungeon. It is basically a requirement. There it is, 70 agility on an alt account. Now I need to do some questing and I also need to get ecumenical keys. Hello, good morning everyone. Let's check our grand exchange. Wow. I sold my willow logs that I AFK'd, 450k, sold my oak logs, 50k. Now it is going to be time to go and do magic arena. All right, no more procrastinating. Let's just send it and see what happens. All right, that was quick. That took me two minutes. And the next thing we'll have to do is we'll basically have to do 100 casts of each of the spells. So what we need for that is we need to buy every single one of the staffs from this shop as well. And I need to buy Gothix and Zami. Uh, that is Sarah Domin Unlock. And that will be the Zamorak completed. And that is all the spells unlocked. Right, let's complete Magic Cape 2. There we go. That is the first one down for Ant's Roots. That is the second one done for the Justiciar Hand. And that should be the last one, Demon Heart. Now, since I'm here, I'll run South Bank Regear. So you can call me crazy, right? But I've had an idea of what if I get another cape right now? Because if I am to die, I'll be using Magic Cape 2 everywhere I go. So if I were to die, it might be smart if I have one in my bank. So if I use this on him, that should make it imbued. That's the imbued Zami cape. And you know what? I'll grab my Zami staff and I'll go get another one. Uh, I'm pretty sure you only need to kill one boss right now to keep getting capes. So that's what I'll attempt to do. Why am I going in here? I don't know. All right, the moment of truth. I give him the heart. I give him the cape. Imbued Zami cape. Perfect, there it is. We got two of them. That was scary. Okay, there is one more thing I want to do. Um, currently, the brews are going for a lot of money on the Grand Exchange. I have three emblems. So, if I use two emblems, leave one in the bank, I can probably make a lot of money right now just selling brews. I'm first gonna check, obviously, if there's any PKers in this area. Buy a lot of brews. Look at this, five million points. Oh, okay, we're getting attacked. But we have a lot of brews, so I don't think there's a world where he kills me. And say good fight to the man. All right, the moment of truth. Yesterday, I planted a big tree and today it looks very healthy. Look at it. My new tree has grown. Wonderful. If I check the experience... 70,000, 65 farming, thank you. But now I can relax, lay back, chop some safe zone new trees whilst I'm playing my God Wars alt account. Very, very, I got his pori. All right, it is time to finish the unfinished business. Let's go ahead and kill more Kraken to finish off 99 magic. There it is. The first uncharged trident. And here it is. Just got a crack and tentacle. Second one. And right after that, sigil of finality. I don't actually know what it does, believe it or not. Let's inspect it. Oh, it gives you 100% accuracy on your next attack, I believe, or in the next spec or something. Uh, super Comet Potions, nine of those. Nah, it's shitting Kraken Tentacles today, man. It's, the thing is, I don't know if I can sell those for anything. That's a big one. I know for a fact this one goes for a lot. Sigil of the Remote Storage. I bought it for 570k a few days back. And this one, when people are skilling, trying to get their stats up for the finals, is definitely going to be one of the sigils that is going to be kind of requested, because you can then just fully AFK your resources and get a ton of experience doing it. Ended up reaching 98 magic at some point. Completely missed it because this place, believe it or not, super AFK. So I'm just kind of vibing here while I'm getting all my other accounts ready. Honestly, that is a good price for a Kraken Tentacle. 405k. You know what? Let's sell this one for 600k and see if it eventually sells. Arma chest plate! That is the best drop! Let's go! Hansi, eat up and TP out. Eat up, eat up. You're low HP. You're really low HP. Go. Eat up and go. 
This is huge. This is the best drop we can get. Godsword shard. That's actually really good. Those are really valuable right now. Godsword shard one as well. Two shards from minion in one kill. Nice. We have a full blade. We have everything. One, two, and three now. Trident ended up selling for a million. Very cool. And Sigil of the Storage sold for a million as well. Oh, another Godsword shard. Nice. Arma helmet. Oh, unlucky one. Here's what I ended up buying. I bought a whip for a million and I bought a Sigil of Last Recall for 1.8 million. You may be wondering why I invested so much money into that. Well, Cerberus. That's what I'm going to do after we finish our God Wars trip. Here is the loot from our first two trips at Kriara. 460k in just regular junk, but most importantly, we got the armadil helmet not that hot of an item you can sell it for around 700 800k on the ge but look at this the armadil chest plate the item i'm most likely using in the one we once but it could also be sold for a lot of money 07 right now but it, it's not for sale yet until we get another one of these is what i'm thinking so i've been chopping trees on this account we are up to 91 wood cutting if we take a look at how many logs we ended up collecting 800 u logs 800 oak logs most importantly ended up buying sigil of the last recall for 1.8 million and the whip for 1.1 million and now i'm going to combine the kraken tentacle with the whip to create a tentacle whip and i'll be using that on cerberus however i am still not 99 magic therefore i will be going back to kraken first to finish 99 magic all right so the first task we're taking is obviously going to be kraken yet again and that is going to be so we get 99 magic and then after that we're gonna go ahead and hopefully do some cerberus oh there it is another one man i keep getting kraken tentacles but you know what it's fine it is such a rare drop but it still sells for like 500k, so you know what, I'm okay with that. 89 Slayer, very nice. For real. Um, never mind, apparently relics are a bit broken. And that's how you joke, but damn, that was a, what, a 50 whip? That Rampage Relic is ridiculous. I guess I have the wrong things. Oh, okay. Easy. Wait, I caught it, I thought of recording, the guy just ran in. And never- what? They don't hit on the G. what the f- <laughs> I'm so close to 99 mage, but also it is probably the very last Kraken task I'm going to do in this deadman mode, so I'm going back. And they're probably still there. Uh, I didn't realize why I couldn't use Ice Barrage there, but I probably just brewed and I'm tired, so it is what it is. And there it is. That will be 99 magic. And this guy is, has blowpipe. What is he doing there? I'm so lost. All right, now that I have a little bit of breathing room, uh, this is basically where combat stats have been completed. Obviously, in the future, I can always work on the higher magic level, but realistically, I don't even... Uh, prayer level, but realistically, I don't actually need to even do that because the account is ready for 1v1s. It's all about the gear now. And the gear will mainly be obtained on the basically second account, as you saw earlier. So it's all about skilling, and it's all about some late game PVMing. Ah, uh, so boring. Okay. I really wish I brought... What's the point? I can't play. Nice, got another one. Well, I guess we got another Kraken tentacle and uh, zero Krakens to go. Probably around 10, I would assume. And I'm happy, I got another one. Alright, now that I've attuned my Sigil of Exaggeration, I have a Slayer level to tackle on the Cerberus. And I also have a Sigil of Slaughter, so I can choose my task. And this time around we're taking Hellhounds. This is a nice little addition, they are saying that I will not be able to cancel the task because I'll run out of points and I am totally okay with that. If, uh, if Cerberus doesn't work, I can always just kill the regular Hellhound, so we are okay with that. That is a lot of Cerb. So I'm actually gonna do it 
without any like damage sigil which is maybe gonna be a little bit weird but i'm sure we'll be fine a lot of people aren't liking this dmm i hate the sigils i maybe hate is pushing it a bit oh my god there it is eternal crystal voice <sighs> Ooh, sheesh, 23k C, we are living good today, boys. Very nice. Now, how much are these bad boys? That's the question. That is the question. How much? Okay, we have a problem. We have a problem. I don't even know where to TP out of this place. Oh, you just exit, okay. How is he hitting me 33s without spec through prayer? Explain. Okay. Oh wait, wrong way, all right. Yes, 80, 80 by the way, 80 with the VLS. seconds more. Yes! Oh my god. Holy shit, what a tank. Don't think I'll be doing any more Cerberus. I mean, the boss is literally bugged. You can get attacked whilst you're in combat, and on top of that, it is an extremely dangerous area. I'll still finish off the task over here on the regular Hellhounds. But yeah, there, there are a lot of issues, in my opinion, with the sigils being this broken. The fact that you have 45% increased damage as a PKer with already, like, really strong weapons like VLS... It's just, this deadman mode is just not very, like, friendly, is it? Like, you basically just get slapped everywhere you go. It is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, a bit uh, a bit worried about, uh, about everything right now, but that'll just give me extra reasons to get my ult really going so I can uh, start grinding for the weapons on an account where I don't care if I were to die. Because if I die here, I do care about the dying. Uh, that's why we're making alt account, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
the sigil of the skiller just bought off of the grand exchange and that is going to increase all of our skills for 100% so double xp look rs3 is now in old school and now i can fully start focusing on getting a bunch of high skills basically for now though i'll keep chopping my tree because we are going to go do some god wars on our old account so let's get at it <laughs> i got 94 range mid kill let's go no I ah okay well that's a hilt Nice, nice, we'll take it, we'll take it. Plies, yeah, yeah, okay. Back to back, by the way? Yep, Sara's sword. Oh my god. As if, we'll take it. Wait, we got Sara's light, so we got back to back to back. But Sara light is completely useless. That's so unlucky. Use it for the Zamirum. Boop. And there's light. Nice. When you're staking bills, for sure. Oh, there we go. 95 range. Woo! Sara sword. There we go. At least it's something. It's 300k. It's good. Sarah Light. Oh, that's unlucky. Got the shard 3. Nice. Okay. Sarah's Light. You are joking. This is everything I had for in store for you all today. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, consider subscribing almost at 100k. It's been a phenomenal day. Ended up being very lucky at the God Wars. Ended up getting an Armadil chest plate. We got some Sarah Domin drops. All in all, a very enjoyable video. And I kind of got to spend a lot of time with my clan, with my community. If you guys still want to be a part of that, Mika DMM is the CC to be. And... Um, and obviously Mika is the clan you also want to be in and that is what I've been working on on the main account just AFKing 99 woodcutting you may be wondering bro why are you training woodcutting in a temporary game mode well in order to participate in the 1v1s you're gonna need a total level and this time around I am suspecting that total levels are gonna be quite hard to get by so I'm gonna get a lot of these skills fairly high in order to secure my spot in the 1v1s to have a chance to win $20,000, right? I'll see you all again tomorrow with another video. And until then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye-bye.